Hi, it's Dr. Elisha Van Dusen with some more tips on how to make a make for a very successful new year. Uh, one thing you should do is do a yearly review. Take stock of where you've been and appreciate all the accomplishments you've made in the last year. So typically in a yearly review, you should answer some of these questions like, uh, what went well for me last year? What accomplishments did I have? How did I improve my life? What went better with my relationships? What did I remove from my life that's now making me happier? What do I wish I'd taken more time for? So keep track of these questions and your responses in the journal that you can refer back to over and over in the future. So your answers year over year will be a very enlightening experience. Ask these types of questions about all the important areas of your life, like family, relationships, financial life, career, home life, etc. And these questions will help you appreciate all that you've accomplished in the previous year. And then you can use this information to start off a new year uh, just the right way and set better goals for that year. Also, finish what you started. Which projects, errands, and general list of to-do items have you left undone from the previous year that you can complete in maybe two hours or less? Do them now and clear your mind of the old items. And keeping projects around like pets doesn't do us any good. They just weigh our mind down, and people will spend hours and hours thinking about something that will only take 10 minutes or less to take care of. So just cross those things off and give yourself a fresh start. Be realistic. Dreaming is fabulous and highly recommended, of course, but if you want to accomplish some improvements in your life, you need to be realistic as well. So um, as much as you may want something, it's very likely you don't really believe you can have it. So we have to turn a dream into something we can picture accomplishing before it can, can become a real reality. So take your dream and start breaking it down into milestones. If you want to work from home, for example, what are the steps you need to take? Break those steps down further so you can create a game plan and then start working towards accomplishing that dream. Focus on what you really want to. Speaking of dreaming, ask yourself what your dream looks like. What are you doing in the dream? How are you living? Who's in the dream with you? These questions will help you define what lifestyle you really want and what you really want to do in life. Give you ideas about how you can achieve uh, whatever you want. So for example, if you see yourself relaxing by a fire with a good book and a cup of tea, ask yourself why you aren't spending more time doing that right now. What things are in your way? How can you re rearrange your life to uh, and your priorities to make these things really happen? So these are just a few things that you can practice and do right now to hopefully make this year better than the year before and uh, get more of what you want and have a more happy, fulfilled life. So as always, we're available to help you with your health care needs. Just visit us at newhopechiropractic.com and have a healthy day.